galaxies will disappear into infinite darkness. He always says that'd be all right. Misty and Ebenezer, circa 1945. Misty and Ebenezer. They used to go on drives But forty-some years later They'd rather watch TV inside Well, she's a daydream believer He'd rather dream at night Misty and Ebenezer Ain't it a wonder that love survived But it goes on, don't it? Thanks so much to Mike TV for letting me join join you on your stream. That was pretty awesome. Uh, so my name is John Brownell, and this is the thing that I do. Uh, okay, this that was called Misty and Ebenezer. That's from my old old band called Oblio Joes. Uh, uh, we released like five or six albums, and um, uh, you can find those on Bandcamp at obliojoes.bandcamp.com. This is called uh, The Way the Story Goes, and it's got a whistle solo in it, which I can rarely ever actually pull off live, but I'm going to try. <clears throat> and as you can hear, I'm a little parched. I've been running around trying to get all the tech stuff set up, <clears throat> and I've worked up a sweat. Thank God you guys can't smell me right now. Um, so I'm just going to get into the zone, wet my whistle. Uh, it's called The Way the Story Goes. This is about... Uh, sitting there and trying to imagine people who might be able to understand your situation, be it different countries, planets, or other states of existence. some other country maybe there's a man who can relate to how I feel I bet he's real maybe he looks much like me maybe he is 43 with slightly darker skin drinks chamomile maybe like me he has pictures of his lost love hidden away in the drawer of his nightstand maybe he's been writing the same story and cannot comprehend this is how the story's gonna end This is how the story's gonna end Maybe on some other planet Maybe there's another man about to understand The way I feel Maybe he sort of looks like me But he is 33 and has six-fingered hands 
and sex appeal Maybe he still has pictures of his love Hanging on the wall right there above her Maybe he is right in the same story Though we're light years apart And that's just how the story always starts That's just how the story always starts looked like me but now he is 23 and sharper in his mind maybe he's taking pictures of his love fully aware of how everything will end up maybe he keeps writing the same story even though he knows exactly how the story's gonna go cause this is how the story always goes That's just how the story always goes. Thank you, thank you. I realize in my hustle to get ready, I didn't grab myself a beer, so I'm going to do that right now. And uh, I see Chad is blowing up. I'm not going to be able to keep up with this. But thank you all for showing up. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So one of the things that I was planning on doing tonight and uh, resurrecting something that I did in the past is I have some backing tracks of my own songs, sort of John Brownell does John Brownell karaoke. Um, so I might try that, but I'd be interested to know like, if you think it's lame or uh, if you think it's kind of fun. So. Uh, but before I do that, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll figure out when I do that. This, uh, so this song is called Spare Parts. Uh, I wrote this when I was in uh, the band Secret Powers. Um, part, I, I also, um, part of this song, that there's, a, there's like a sort of a bridge, a uh, little instrumental. Yeah, there's a, normally a guitar solo, but I, I, after I did it, I realized that I totally um, hort Nadia's theme, which I think is... Is it Young and the Restless? What's, it's from some soap opera, though. The do, 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 I stole that. Anyway, I kept it in there. This is about, um, this is about a, uh, a sort of artificially intelligent robot who's um, brought home as a, as a lover, as a companion, and things didn't work out, but it's told from the perspective of the of the AI. My inner peace is filled with greases, built with precision skills and caffeine pills. But apparently my circuits wouldn't interface with her bits. Neither would my free will Oh, she'd activate the sensors in my skin do 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 when she'd kiss my synthetic chin Even though, even though, even though she's breaking my heart I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay Cause I've got spare parts And it's good to see Smiling again. Smiling again. 
smiling again. Smiling again. At first it seemed to work. We'd flirt and keep the conversation casual. But soon enough her logic center started failing and unlike me She did not come with a manual Oh, despite the fastest hardware this machine do -do 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 Could not keep up with her mood swings Even though, even though, even though she's breaking my heart I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay cause I've got spare parts it's good to hear her laughing again Laughing again Laughing again Well, she turned me on And she told me what my name is Oh brought me home at least the place she called my home but now she says I gotta go My synthetic grin Even though, even though, even though she's breaking my heart I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay Cause I've got spare parts And it's good to see her laugh smiling And it's good to hear her laughing sounds okay. Let's see. Oh, no soundboard. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really, I'm j this is my first Twitch stream, so I've just busted my Twitch cherry, and uh, I've got a lot to learn. <laughs> I've got a lot to figure out. So, um, all right, so next up, this is a song that I wrote uh, just uh, in the early stages of quarantine. And if you go uh, to my Facebook or my YouTube, you'll, um, or even the Bandcamp, it's on, there's a link on there, but. My wife and I, my wife sang one of the parts. This is like a two-part, his and her song. I'm gonna just sing both parts, but uh, one of these days I'm gonna get her in here to sing with me. Uh, but we made this, um, this like video that I'm super proud of uh, where she murders me multiple times. Uh, but I keep coming back to life, and we end up deciding just to, she just decides to, like, keep me since I just keep coming back. Uh, but it's about, it's called Stuck in a Loop, and it was about sort of the feeling I think a lot of people had about um, sort of, um, uh, you know, being stuck with the person, even though you love them, in quarantine. It's a little bit, uh, it can be a little bit much at times, but it's awesome. Okay, it's called Stuck in the Loop. <laughs> uh. 
Days sneak up our steps like Mormon boys did in the time before the quarantine. Now we wake up every morning feeling like midlife crisis actors, part of the conspiracy. Every day we brush our face and wash our teeth and rinse and repeat. Stuck in a loop like a white noise generator bought from a Chinese sweatshop. Our front stoop is the means and ways Heavier each day When we are stuck in a loop The nights tumble down our steps like Your drunk friends did In the time before to Stay at home Together all alone Feels like we met in the middle of a long time ago I haven't seen you in a long time Time, though. I infer your existence from the evidence here In the apartment that we share Stuck in a loop like divine science fiction It's the comedy we're missing If once is a fluke, then twice is a trend And if you find it never ends You might be stuck in a loop too Stuck in a loop, but I gotta say it's not much different than the life we had been living. And if you gotta be cooped, at least you're stuck with me. Stuck in a loop, but you must admit it's not much different than the life we had been living. And if you gotta be cooped, at least you get to be stuck with me. It's not so bad to be stuck in. All right, I'm just realizing that little delay might be kind of annoying. I'm going to turn that down. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Uh, so I took some uh, requests leading into this, this first one. I don't know if Leia's here, but if not, she can watch it later. Uh, God, I, don't, I don't need these headphones. This is another Oblio Joe song. Uh, this is off our final record called Let's Decompose and Enjoy Assembling. This is called Technologic Age. I poked my nose out of my little cave When suddenly I caught whiff of technologic age And it's been all around me I can't believe it never found me Instead I stumbled dumb upon some tantalizing ray of light And I can't overstate how hard it took once it did No getting over it until the day I die until the day I die That day you know I'll get my head screwed back on right Sister dear, I hope the cave still finds you well and you're still in the clear. Cause 
Cause it's been all around you I can't believe it never found you Just never stumbled dumb upon That tantalizing ray of light Cause I, I can't overstate how hard it takes Once it does, no getting over it Until the day you die Until the day I die That day you know we'll finally be All right, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Tichi. I really appreciate it. Uh, I want you, your puppy, to know that it is a very good dog. All right. What do we got next? Next, this is for... This is the only cover I'm going to do tonight, uh, but it was requested by Jen. And sort of simultaneously by Dennis. I know Dennis is here. It's that guy to buy voices song. <laughs> if I can play it. Tractor Rape Chain by Guided by Voices for Jen and Dennis. Thanks, guys. Good to see you, Dennis. All right. <clears throat> so this song is called Vodka Sunrise. This is a song. So I'm in a band uh, called Protest Kids, although we've been on this sort of like year and a half long hiatus because of COVID and whatever, all that other just bullshit, but hopefully, uh, 
hopefully, hopefully soon uh, I can start rocking out with my friends again. Um, I am fully vaccinated. Team JJ. Um, when you're a Johnson, you're a Johnson all the way from your first cigarette to your last dying day. Flashing some JJ, JJ signs. Whatever it is. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this song is actually kind of sad. This is uh, at, at the end of my mom's life. She um, she got a little. She she enjoyed the vodka a little too much. And uh, this song is kind of you know it's, it's. I was thinking about her a lot as when I wrote this, but you know, it's, I, this is a a not uncommon. Um, Thing. So anyway, it's, this is called Vodka Sunrise. This is usually a rocker. in was uh, Mick and Johnny back in high school. First real gig was at the Unitarian Church on, on uh, I think it was on Woodward Avenue. Uh, yeah, Mickey sent me a picture recently of us from that show that I still haven't shared. I gotta find that and post it. Oh man, it's good to see you, brother. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so this song... So I talked about this a little bit on Mike's, uh, Mike TV's stream before I started here. Um, uh, two, two, 2019, I did a song a week, a challenge where I wrote a song every week. I wrote, wrote it, recorded it, shared it on Bandcamp, 
and even made a video for every song. Um, if you go to my Bandcamp, there's a uh, there's actually a full album with all 52 songs on there. Um, but the the repeat and fade of the album is sort of like a best of of that group. This song didn't make it onto the, the re repeat and fade. Uh, and uh, when I was doing the song a week thing, I, I was um, I was part of this subreddit that does song a week every year, and um, and the subreddit, they kind of post these themes to help guide you. Like, if, if you want to use a theme, you can, or you don't have to. But uh, the idea is that they, they give you a theme that might help you, like, trigger a song. And so this song, I had all the, the music done, and I was right at the end, and the, the theme was um, kids. It was kids. And I had just read this story about Freddie, uh, the Overstegen sisters. They were these, like, Dutch girls who um, fought the Nazis... Uh, I mean, they literally like would lure men and into the woods and like shoot them when they were like 14, 16 years old, something like that. Anyway, so I saw that uh, the kids' theme was there, and I ended up writing this thing. I, I almost just threw out the whole thing because it's really kind of depressing and weird. And uh, but anyway, as I've sat with it, I, I like it more and more. Um, it, it's kind of a weird song. Anyway, this is called "Just a Kid." She's got a stone inside her chest Like an anchor tying down her heart And yet She tells her mother not to fret She's been making plans And there's no time for regret She pulls on her nicest dress And pedals down the road knows exactly where to go She knows the guards won't even ask it Ask what she's got there in her bicycle basket She turned 14 years this summer But everyone said that she looks at least two years younger Those men, they're always bored Drinking hard and telling jokes about the war And hoping for more war She was just a kid But that didn't stop him from looking And when she led him from the pub He didn't think twice about how old she was they say these soldiers learn the hard way well they don't know what the hard way is because they haven't seen the things these soldiers did and they say these soldiers are young well she would beg to differ they got an army she don't have an army but she has a gun has a gun Just a kid And there's no getting around it And if you were just 14 Could you even get through it? And if you had a time machine Would you go back and help her do it? Yeah, that's a, that's a feel-good song right there. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to try one of these. So I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try one of these backing track songs. Um, I'm curious, like, to know... Oh, hang on a sec.
I don't know. I hope it's not like totally lame, but I have fun doing this. I, I shouldn't fucking care. I don't care. I don't really give a shit what you think. Uh, yeah, right? Fuck it. I'm going to have fun. All right, this song is called I Hope You Didn't Waste Your Time. Uh, <laughs> and I, I really hope this isn't a waste of your time. I, I hope I can do this. Let's see here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Fuck it. Never thought I'd have to be the one to say to you, darling, every little thing you've come to know is wrong, it's startling, as a sticky cloudy mess of your old memories displaced, you'll find you're exactly where you've always been in this particular space and time, it always starts out of a mill. Thought I'd have to be the one to say to you, darling. Every single thing you've come to know as something was nothing. And the itchy, sneaking sense you recognize as familiarity, baby. It overexposes your nerves, they grow like roses. It's true, but it's the real you. The mysterious dream. Consciousness is love in the library of your mind. I hope you didn't waste your time. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh, thank you so much, Retro Roadshow. The glow, the glow. Hey, Dennis, do you want the glow with or without backing tracks? I will let you decide on that one, because I have them. <sighs> that was unintentional, but uh, whatever. Um, all right, I'm going to play one more, uh, another without backing tracks. And Dennis, you can let me know. What you think? Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, this this song is called Autopilot. This is another one off from the 2019 Song a Week thing. I'm trying to sneak some of these that I never play in, <clears throat> uh, just to see how they feel to play live. So this uh, the theme this week was the when I did this uh, Autopilot Song a Week. The theme was like a chord progression. It's like it's the one flat seven four chord progression uh which is like sweet home alabama and back in black and that stuff and it's kind of hard when you're given a chord progression like that to do something that's interesting so i just tried to play around with like the rhythm of the guitar strum to see if that would do something cool and i don't know i thought it kind of did uh now i'm getting really nervous about playing this Autopilot. I am in my best mood when I reach cruising altitude. But when I cannot thread the islet, I switch to autopilot to take me from where I am to striking distance of where you are at your best friend. When I feel myself descends. It's an optical illusion, mode confusion has got me wondering which way is up and which way is down. I shut, I'm not high, but I am the pilot, giddy headed, peering through the smoke, wondering who has 
has the yoke Wondering if this is all a bad joke I have a feeling The punchline will not make me laugh Now I feel like a balloon getting strewn Hoping to end up in striking distance of where you Dennis. The song is called The Glow. And uh, not a lot to say about this. This is, this is you know, my, my songs tend towards the sad, wistful side of the spectrum. Um, I made a, I made a, like a, you know, an effort. This week I was like, I gotta write something that is um, positive. And uh, the theme on this week was light, I believe. Light. Um, so I just thought about my beautiful wife. Sitting by a river. Maybe some recreational drug use. But within reason, you know. Never overdo it. I just got to say, live streaming is really weird. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Conceive of where it ends And look See how it shatters And explodes upon the brook I don't know why it leaves me shook I'm simultaneously Enraptured and confused So confused My love looks up at me and blinks She don't need to tell me what she thinks the creek explains what's in her head So I sit in silence until night Refract her gaze with delight Wink to acknowledge what was said So sweet What starts out as panic Always turns to glee Her incandescence lights my mind Her self-luminous design is all I need to see, need to see, need to see.
See, playing with backing tracks feels especially good because I haven't played with a fucking band in like a year and a half. I'm all sweaty. Woo! All right. It, you know, one kind of fun thing about that, I, so at some point I learned about, you know, doing a major to minor shift or, you know, like using the same chord playing the major and then the minor as a way to add some like texture to a song and something interesting and I started using it everywhere but uh, I noticed on I think it was I mean I'm sure a lot of people do this but on Beck's morning phase album there's a there's several places where he goes minor to major and I was like I've never done that before so I just I, I decided I wanted to, to try put figure out a place to do that in there and uh I don't know. That's one of my that's one of my favorite chord progressions that I've ever come up with. When you go minor to major, it sounds like you're doing something happy. When you go major to minor, it sounds like you're going to be sad. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Retro Roadshow. All right, what do we got going now? So, <clears throat> this song, all right, all right. I'm going to do, all right, this is for Felix. I'm not sure if Felix is on, but he requested this song. He requested two songs, one of which I can't really play, but, uh, Felix is my nephew, and um, he was a big fan of my early band, Oblio Joes. Um, this, is, this is called Swallow the Moon. <clears throat> it's another one I haven't played in a long time, so let's see what happens. Flashing red light two miles south of shore exaggerates the distance between my location and yours. And I know I'll have to leave soon once the ocean swallows the Looking tasty as the chop licks its sandy lips. And each moment I'm wasting gets sweeter with each salty sip. I'm just fortunate, I suppose. I mean, what more could be done before the ocean spits out the sun?
Oh, hi, Felix. I'm so happy that you got to hear that because I actually played it uh, without, I mean, there's a little flub in there, but one is, one is acceptable, one flaw. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, screw it. I'm going to do another backing track song. Um, so this, uh, we actually previewed this song on Mike TV, and one of the funny things about playing with backing tracks is that, like, you know, it's the same instrumentation that is on the album, so some folks might still be here who actually heard the track from the album, and then now you get to hear me basically just redoing the acoustic guitar and vocals on that song with all the same backing tracks. It's a little weird, but it's fun because I get to feel like I'm in a rock and roll band again. Cheers, Bobcat. Thanks so much for hanging out. And to all my friends, old and new, I love you guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's been a weird year and a half, but I, I feel like things are getting better. I hope you do too. This line veers into the alpha glow I sat alone in the overgrown As the moon's light traded with the sun's light faded When a glitch in the system revealed a hidden schism And the seams began to show In the grasses and in the trees On the edge of the periphery The cracks distract Until the stitches are all a seam about it anymore Just want to sit and watch the way this day Fades from the display As a hidden hand traces the rays As a hidden hand traces the rays The hidden hand that us, also animates the stardust, but I'm inclined to think it's not so divine as I examine its kludgy design. Could it be the engineering involved is all mundane now, pretty much solved until these gods unaware of the gray in my hair got stuck reticulating splines. Your very own creator, master simulator. Asleep at the wheel. How does it make you feel? I'll tell you how it makes me feel. I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Just want to watch and miss it by the skies reflected in my eyes as a hidden hand renders the light. As a hidden My grip on traditional and I surmise I'm just a copy with no original But I'm not gonna think about it anymore Just want to sit and watch the way this day Face from the display as the hidden hand traces the rays I'm not gonna think about it anymore to watch and mystify the skies reflected in my eyes as a hidden hand hides from me as a hidden hand hides from me wow I've got
got a real live audience now. <laughs> That's amazing. Donna says hi, Lori. Hi, Donna. Uh, <laughs> Sarah just asked me if you've ever written a pet song. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, God, let me, I should try to think of, like, what's a really bad song that I've written? Um, ginger. <laughs> ginger. Lori says ginger. Tell Sarah Lori says ginger. Uh, I did, the very first song that I ever wrote, um, I think, so, my, both my sisters, I think both my sisters, Donna could probably, Donna would know, but I think both my sisters took guitar lessons. Um, so there was a guitar in the house. I never took lessons, but I, I picked up the guitar, guitar, and I realized that like they, there were some. We had some songbooks in the house that would show you the little like chord charts. So I would just sit there and like figure out the how to play the chords, you know, just by looking at the chord charts and flubbing my way through. But one of the first songs out of a songbook that I found was "Brown Eyed Girl," and I wrote a song called "We're All the Same on the Inside." to the tune, I just stole like Brown Eyed Girl and just changed the words to we're all the same on the inside. That was a pretty bad song. So you can tell Sarah about that one. And we're all the same on the inside. Oh, we're all the same on the inside. <laughs> uh, okay, so. <laughs> I don't have to wear the headphones if I'm not playing with backing tracks, but it sounds cool in my head. Okay, this is called expiration date. This is uh, kind of an, well, I don't know what to say about this. When I first wrote this song, it was kind of a, a sarcastic, sort of cynical song about somebody who you think is a friend, but they're always kind of second guessing the things that you do. But I could never quite get the words. Um, O'Brien oh, says that they just voted Ginger is not a bad song and the results in the house were two to zero. So I, you're wrong, Lori. All right. Um, anyway, I couldn't quite get those, those words to work. So I rewrote it from the perspective of a friend who's actually a really good friend, even though they might be a little bit oblivious when things are going wrong. It's like the best kind of friend to have. Uh, the other thing about this song is that... We play it in my band, Protest Kids, and we were supposed to record our second album like January, February, March of 2020, and things went to shit, and then we never quite got started. But this song has like some of the best harmonies that those guys, they're just so good at it, and um, so I can't wait to record it. But we're gonna have to live without the harmonies, and I'm just gonna stop blabbering. I can't stop talking. It's so weird, I never talk. Uh, it's called Expiration Date. You'd say that's the way that the wind blows Even when we're in a hurricane I like to think that you mean the best When you say these things new shirt from Old Navy the very day that we were swept out to sea as we struggled to stay above the water you wondered if you kept the receipt you wondered if you kept the receipt but let's not brace ourselves we don't need to brace ourselves might as well let ourselves get carried away You'd say that's the way the cookie crumbles Even when we haven't eaten for days So sweet how you mean the best when you say these things dreaming of a meal you might cook for me by pushing buttons on a microwave and even there in your imagination you check the expiration date and save the last bite for your first mate but 
don't pace yourself you don't need to pace yourself it's your dream you might as well let yourself get carried away Don't pace yourself You don't need to pace yourself Might as well let yourself get carried away Let's not brace ourselves We don't need to brace ourselves Might as well let ourselves get carried away for our expiration day Awesome. All right. What do we got here? All right. I should do another Oblio Joe song, probably. Probably. All right. This is another Oblio Joe song. This is called Surreal. It is surreal the way her makeup radiates all through the makeup of my soul every time I wake up. I feel more or less the same stuff. There is no in-game substitution, no elaborate solution. When there is no opponent to defeat, and no error worth repeating. Woke up to I could see clear, oh, all the way into her mouth covered with lipstick, past her tongue that like a dipstick checks the gauge of my unrealistic expectations. I'm gonna miss it when the time finally comes to say goodbye. With no tears to drag mascara from her eyes kicking and screaming I'd almost say her decorated teeth could be put on display on her nose as she sleeps last night off is a game appreciate oh I appreciate every pore of that ambitious and well made up whore it is so real how well she's made up from her thoughts to every shade of hooker red that I am afraid of but instead of staying, she just blows a big sloppy kiss and waves goodbye. With no tears to drag mascara from her eyes kicking and screaming, 
she's gone. <laughs> I, I realize, Retro Roadshow, that when you say it sounds like it has demons made of anime characters inside of it now, that you're talking about that keyboard, but I like to think that you were talking about me. <laughs> no, I don't sound anything like that. Okay, the next song. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Um, uh, there was a, a, a while back, there was, my wife and I used to do this thing where like once a week, one of us would be like oh, no. the slave for a day. <laughs> uh, basically, you got to like boss the other person around, make them like go fetch things for you and cook you food and stuff. It's kind of a fun thing to do. So if you got a significant other that, you know, needs some uh, shaking up, give that a try. Anyway. When, uh, when I was her slave, she told me that I had an hour and I had to write a song about her adorableness. That was where her exact words, I had an hour and it had to be about her adorableness. So I took an hour and I wrote this song, <clears throat> which I have not played like ever since I recorded it, I don't <laughs> think. So hopefully I can remember all the words. And of course, because she made me do this in an hour, I had to make it a little bit. Well, I, I don't want to say tongue in cheek because it's all true. It's just the things. Sometimes, you know, in uh, what was that show? Uh, the uh, the Dead Poet Society. I think is the the professor and no. the character. He talks about like how the thing that he remembers about his about his dead wife was the little farts. She would fart like in her sleep at night. Like he doesn't remember, you know, the amazing vacation they took or anything. He remembers the little farts because sometimes it's those little things that are things that make something special. Oh my God, now I gotta pull this off. I can't, but that's not true. I adore the way, wait, no, that's not gonna be it. That's it. I just gotta get through I adore the way you smile by pressing, pressing. No shit. You got it. I, I adore, adore. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, that's what. That's it, that's it. <laughs> I adore the way you smile by pushing your. <laughs> I adore, I adore the way you smile by pressing your tongue up against your upper two front teeth, blowing air out underneath. As your smile subdivides, your lips curl up more on one side than the other in a sunning display of asymmetry. Your bell's palsy is adorable to me. I adore how when a song comes on you cannot help but sing along Dancing in the passenger seat and clapping on the one and three And when I see how good it makes you feel I start to tap the steering wheel along an inappropriate time Elaine Bennis would agree you dance adorably Tomorrow we will wake and raise our curtains to the day Into the smell of fresh espresso beans And you'll turn on the TV to NBC's Meet the Press Or Sunday morning on CBS With all them talking brains Discussing wars and missing planes And in my mind I will replay How in your nonchalant way 
You told the world on Facebook I was your slave for a day And how you made me write this song And how it was fun to play along And how I am so blessed to be next to your adorableness I'm so blessed to be next to your adorableness I did it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. uh, I think that song is actually on my SoundCloud, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. I... Anyway, all right. <laughs> Just making this as hard as possible. Uh, totally. Just stand right there in my peripheral vision. <laughs> All right. This, uh, this song, this is off of the Protest Kids record. This was requested by Phil. Phil became Brian Hickey says, get a room. <laughs> Actually, we got a room. We just put a camera in it. <laughs> this, this is our room. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, all right. This was uh, requested by Phil. It's called Joy. This song is like, it's kind of like a ballad or something. I, I don't know if it's technically a ballad, but I felt really uncomfortable singing this one at first. It's with these kinds of songs that you just realize that, you know, there's a big build at the end and it sucks unless you just kind of go all into the whatever the, the sort of cheesy level. This song originally, I actually wrote this, I started writing this, I, I wrote the, the base of this, like the chords and the, and the original words were about my Uncle Roy and, um, you know, his super religious family and um, he had been in, a, in an accident, had some brain damage and, and uh, you know, he... He was always, but he was always like the coolest, most interesting person at the family get-togethers to me. And he loved uh, Gene Autry. And so I wrote a song, I was writing a song about him, this kind of sarcastic song about my religious family and whatever, that they suck or something. I mean, I was in high school. But so then I was in uh, Secret Powers and Schmid... Had, had written a song about uh, the apocalypse, about meeting down at the reservoir during the apocalypse. And he was like, we should write a concept album about the apocalypse. So I went home that night, and I had, I had discovered a recording of this song about my uncle Roy, and decided, oh, those chords are actually kind of cool. Maybe I'll make this a song about the apocalypse. So I changed Roy to Joy, and sort of switch the perspective to the other side. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I just find it kind of funny and interesting in my own head. <laughs> I thought maybe you would too. Oh, my Lord. Um, so there are still some lines in there about my relationship with my family and Roy, but they're kind of disguised in these other characters, although not anymore now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> Joy looks down At the milk on the ground And like the rest of this junk She knows I won't clean it up I'll be sitting around Gene Autry's voice will be the only sound Coming from some ancient cassette From God knows when Joy picks her book up off the floor Blows me a kiss And walks to the door But wait Joy, I'm no clown and I can hear how you pray In hush-hush tones To keep the devil at bay I 
I got a bottle and a frown And if you leave again today I'm turning one upside down But the other one will stay Reminds me of my dad A little less smart perhaps But a lot less sad Joy still rides her bicycle With rusty wheels Broken spokes As if there's someone out there Worth talking to And when joy is gone I might as well this whole place go to hell her little book no longer gets me through cause not a word of it was true joy Join who no bounds When she came home to stay It was a beautiful day But I said things that I can't unsay And then the word came down That it was time to evacuate we stood our ground in this evacuated state. There's no more cars on the roads, but Joy still takes the bike path everywhere she goes. You see, Joy still rides her bicycle with rusty wheels and broken spokes as if there's someone out there worth talking to and when joy is gone I might as well let this whole place go to hell her little book no longer gets me through joy ride your bicycle with rusty wheels broken spokes as if This whole place burning hell Her little book no longer gets me through Cause not a word of it was true Joy looks down At the milk on the ground And starts to laugh That's where the smoke machines come in. <laughs> yeah. More of that. Hmm. I should say that, um, so when we said, oh, hey, Brad, good to see you. So, and not, not that I actually see you, good to see your little heart <laughs> symbol. Um, we, we never actually did the, 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 um, the concept album about the apocalypse, obviously. So that song ended up on... Uh, Protest Kids, which was the bands that uh, we started after Secret Powers. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you like that kind of stuff, and that, that song actually is like, I, I, I'm so stoked on the recording of that song. My friend Ryan Farley uh, has just freaking beautiful harmonies that kind of make that song. So you should check out protestkids.bandcamp.com. You can listen to that whole album. Um, we released that in 2018-ish, I think. 2018, perhaps. Flem Dog, fuck yeah! And Fleming lays down the bass in all those tracks as well. 
uh, proprietor of Ear Candy Music in Missoula, Montana, all around best guy in the world, pretty much. Um, no offense, Mike TV. Very, very close. Second. <laughs> One and a half. I miss playing with you too, man. Well, it's going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon. I'm fully vaccinated. I can do anything now. Um, I should play another Olio Joe song. All right, I'm going to play. This is called... This is another, this is a song that I don't think I've ever played acoustically. Acoustic. It's called Syntax, and it's the opening track off of the Oblio Joe's album, Syntax and Some Antics. And, it, and you see what I did there? Uh, I was a lot more clever back then. <laughs> and you can, if you like the Oblio Joe stuff I've been playing, you can find that at obliojoes.bandcamp.com and actually the entire Oblio Joe's discography is available for free or full. You can listen as many times you want. You can download the MP3s in super stunning high quality. Um, it's, you know, if you're into like 90s indie rock kind of stuff, you might dig that. All right. All that to say, this is called syntax. Separate meaning from the words she says Prior to gleaning any information You think we might use You will quickly notice there are multiple ways One might approach this complex problem Oh, I have deduced She can't be reduced Gather your stencils, sharpen your pencils. There's work to do, boy. Roll up your shirt sleeves. Maybe you can be of use. This thing is big, bigger than you are. If she's the computer, you're just one punch card. Like the skins of an onion, carefully peeled. One by one, less peculiar notions are slowly revealed. And she'll be doing everything in her power to fling confusion with meaning into our equations. Oh, I have surmised our work here has been compromised. So throw out your pencils, rip out your stencils coming for you when they levy their syntax respond with some antics it won't compute she'll be detailing your utter failing in children's school books and mass mailing Your stencils, throw out your pencils. They're coming for you when they levy their syntax. Respond with some antics, it won't compute. She'll be detailing your utter failing in children's school books and mass mailings. Once this is over, you'll want to go back. Fun being covert. It's more fun being tracked. I 
I'm not going to do the whole outro. <laughs> Cheers. Call out Tanner. Second vaccine. Barely hanging on. Oh, yeah. Tanner, our son, got his second vaccine yesterday. Um, it's, it's hitting him kind of hard. I got nailed by, we got the, I got the JJ, uh, and it, it knocked me out for a few days pretty hard. Um, Leia, woohoo, yeah! Is Tanner there? Uh, no, Leia just away? popped in. I don't, I don't know if you saw it, Leia, but I did play, you, rec you requested Technologic Age, I played it earlier, so if you didn't see it after this, do the old rewind. Be kind, rewind. Um, should I play a sad one or a really sad one? Uh, no, I'm not going to play a sad one. I'm going to play. All right, so this song is like the newest song that I've recorded and released. It, I, I have originally wrote it as part of my 2019 thing, but then I kind of like reworked it. Re-recorded it with uh, my with uh, my buddy Matt on drums, and then I, I just recently released a video of this song where I did a bunch of green screen stuff in my house, and I'm really proud of the video. So I hope you check it out. Um, you know, let's do this. Sorry, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I just shared a link to the video. I'm not telling you to leave me. Uh, but this is another song that I've never played live. called Fault Lines. It does that major to minor thing too, or I mean minor to major thing. <laughs> <clears throat> they leave their young at home, all alone, to go be worker drones out in the honeycomb, as it threatens to outgrow the anxious sun. Warms the bees in the fruit trees, buzzing around like they know they may not be around tomorrow. Have they seen the computer machine? So cold, oh, 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 is that warm wonder? Have they seen the hidden? Behind the cathode rays Where the smell of the ozone Might remind them of the thunder and rain Well, there's an old joke About a poor old bloke Who's been outrun by his friends While being chased by an elephant Or something like that And you may feel like a dummy If you don't think it's funny buzzing around like you know you may not be around tomorrow and tomorrow feels so perfect and real really really real and frustrating because it never arrives you are stuck in the hive Hoping that someone or something can save the colony
are the blessed ones, but your daughters and your sons, they are lost in a tableau. And it's your fault, lines in your aging spines. The greatest gift you can give is getting an O. Getting to know that you may not be around tomorrow. Letting them know that you may not be around tomorrow. Letting them know that you may not be around tomorrow. Start getting to know that you may not be around tomorrow. carried away. <clears throat> Once again, Mike, thank you so much. Everybody, Mike TV, please go check out, I, I know there are some people in here that like maybe don't do the Twitch thing. Um, uh, so I, I'm using some software right now that lets me broadcast I'm on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube simultaneously. Uh, but Mike TV, he live streams like five days a week. Um, he writes amazing songs uh, and you should just just go check him out. You'll you'll know what I mean as, as soon as you hear some of his music. Uh, it is unique and special and better than ninety percent of the shit that's out there. Um, and he's a fucking good guy. He's played in Missoula several times uh, under his Get Set Go uh, band. Name. Anyway, love you, dude. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna play one more, maybe two more acoustic, and then I'm gonna do like a couple more backing tracks, and then I'm, I'm done. I've been going way longer than I expected. Um, so I should, actually, let's do this. I'm gonna play this song, this is a, I'll play one more acoustic, then I'll, uh, that's, then that, that's that, okay. Ah. This is called uh, Wish We Could Argue. This is the last song on the Protest Kids track. Uh, it's a true story about um, my, brother-in-law um, who passed away from a heart attack at the same time that I was dealing with some heart problems of my own and just the weird thing that, that happens in those relationships. talk to you I told you to get your friends and the fuck out of my house I motioned to my sister she was passed out on the couch and I could tell by your face you thought this little kid's no slouch Ooh. and you got the fuck out I know then you would end up being my brother and my friend not that we didn't fight though because God knows we did fought about everything from religion and politics to nuclear physics it's true 
Who was the best with chopsticks? Not you. But the one thing we never fought about was music. So we talk about music. Last time that I talked to you Your only concern was what I was gonna do About my broken heart even though we had one too And now that you're gone I wish we could argue Just talk about music. I want to talk about music. Want to talk about music. Want to talk about music. Oh, with you. Thanks, Brad. All right. <clears throat> what are we doing? This song is about how sometimes when you're in a depressive state, people are trying to tell you all the things that you can do to get out of it and uh, how it, you appreciate the effort but um, it's, sometimes it's not as easy as getting a massage or jumping in the hot tub it's called um, it's called my morbid imagination this is another one from my 2019 set that ended up on the Repeat and Fade album. And I'm going to do fucking backing tracks. <clears throat> mm. Do you ever feel like we should just stop? It's too late to turn back now, but maybe not too late to drop it. And do you ever feel like a stranger? in a familiar land and all your stuff has become contraband you say there's still love in the air and just because i don't feel it doesn't mean that it's not there but as we float around the drain burning questions remain unanswered like your prayer Say, just show us a smile. You say, try running a mile. You say, it's all in my head. Just imagine the best and go manifest it. Do you remember on my birthday? I turned 18 that April, then I left for good in May. But we held on while the holding was good, and I lied to you that I would never let my faith dissipate. And we stayed up until the white noise from the cars on I-75 conspired with the sun to bury the night alive. And all the 
alcohol we drank And all the drugs that we could take Wouldn't slow the morning light As we both fell oh, oh, oh. I fear my morbid imagination Gets in the way of the straight and narrow I sincerely hope that I'm wrong But I'm not feeling strong And I can't help alone should let go It's too late to turn back now but not too late to cancel all the shows and Don't you feel like a fraud when you're living a facade and every new idea is just recycled group thought You say just soak in a hot tub You say Try joining my book club Well, I saw your event And I responded interested But I won't go I fear my morbid imagination Gets in the way of the straight end Retro Roadshow, we could perhaps I, 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 <laughs> uh, I, I would not mind if you committed like murder suicide on me by sushi um, if that's I don't want to get too morose but um, I can eat a, a disgusting amount of sushi. All right. All right, this is a song about apathy, casual drug use in the midst of shitty work. called High Time. You are a sweet talker and I'll devour every you bake, you 
you are a fast walker and a struggle to keep up with your pace. You are my beta blocker in a rainstorm under the roof. You are electro shocker when this awful place drives me cuckoo. And as the world gets meaner, our house gets cleaner. It's high time we get high. Put on our birthday suits. Lock the doors, ignore the wars, and don't watch the news. Well, there are plenty of people who are much worse off, and though I don't know exactly who, I'll bet they're fighting. I hope they're fighting in lieu of me and you. Gasser. I used to laugh at your worldview. I was a first classer. And you won suffers class on your way to the loo. I am the forecaster. And there's a big storm making landfall. We are both dark matter. It turns out we don't matter at all. And as the world grows ugly, we'll cuddle snugly. High time we get high as the world goes down the tubes. Turn off our goddamn phones, blow each other's nose, and stop watching the fucking news. Well, there are plenty of people who are much worse off than me and you. And I'll bet they're fighting. I'll bet they're fighting. I'll bet they're fighting. I'll bet that somebody's fighting. And since we're not fighting, I really. I think uh, I think I'm down to two more. <clears throat> the band Polaris. I have not heard Polaris. Should I? All right. This song is called "Restless Legs." I'll admit I live a charmed life Acting like my shit don't stink And I like to think I live in harmony Though oftentimes I feel so Out of tune Out the outside When the bare black sky Amplifies the good reasons Why these lonely bones Keep clattering On and on like an automaton in the middle of the night I've got restless legs Is it fight or is it flight? Cause I've got restless legs It's late even I dream As I reread the transcript of my own testimony Massage my aching muscle memory Now my decision tree is Binary and like a whiplash, a big clash. Should it stay or should it go? Go, go back, lash my stash to the car and catch the vast. At last, I can cast off. Is it fight or is it fly when I've got restless legs? Pins and needles in my old age. I've got restless legs. Where the rubber meets the road rage. I've got restless legs. 
I've got restless legs. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna play. This is a. Uh, this is a song called. Uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, this machine. And then I'm going to close out with uh, Dennis requested ginger. I'll close out with that. Um, and then I think we're done. Yeah? I think so. This machine is poetry in motion This machine works best when it's broken This machine is something to see This machine is me This machine is This machine runs 24-7 This machine keeps working when it sleeps This machine is guaranteed to break down eventually this machine is me information it is a notion that I cannot wrap my head around information it is an ocean I cannot jump into Lest I soak my circuits and burn out This machine's uncertain where it came from This machine's just a lever for some fulcrum This machine no longer hears the soft hum Of its own energy Stored potentially this machine is me. Information, endless abyss. I wipe my data with a kiss. Information, endless kinesis. This machine is powerless. This machine is jealous This machine is Me Okay, I love you all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. It, I mean, this has been very cathartic for me. I appreciate it so much. Um, and, I, and, you know, I'm going to try to do it more and be more of a participant. So this is for Dennis. This was uh, the Oblio Joe song that was the closer pretty much every night for like 20 fucking years or 15 years. 15 years. I'm exaggerating, not 20. 15 fucking years. Uh, it's called Ginger. I love you all. Check out my stuff, johnbernell.bandcamp.com, protestkids.bandcamp.com, obliojoes.bandcamp.com, and uh, we're, on, we're on the Spotify and the Apple and all that, too. So. Oh, Ginger, do you hear the ticking clock? Do you wonder what has got a hold of you and me? Whoa. 
woke up in a ditch today It's not half as bad as you think I wrote a ten page letter I'm gonna send it to you I drank another fifth today Quit my job I'm feeling much better Now how about Something very solid in that far away dream. Something unbelievable is following me. Something unbelievable is following me. Stepped into the river today and I I walked right through but I still can't seem to keep up with you Oh ginger Do you hear the ticking clock Do you wonder what has got the whole Seriously, I love you. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, and we'll do it again soon. I hope you're all doing okay, hanging in there. Get yourself poked in the arm. Get some vaccines in you. Team Johnson & Johnson. Disappear into infinite darkness.